Hello there. Good morning, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to my bathroom. That means it's time for a shave. Today is a silky smooth shave at Sunday. See, I'm changing things up because of the new schedule and the new shaving schedule. So uh, Sundays will be my uh, shave at shaves, and it's Sunday. Always silky smooth, head and face shave. Uh, two day, two and a half days of growth. Haven't shaved since Thursday. And I am ready for one. Got to get pretty for church because you never know when you're going to run into your wife. Future wife? Who knows? Anyway, a lot of the same, a little bit different. Um, what are we using? The same old Colonel Conk uh, Amber into the bowl. Because of uh, how well it worked last week. Bang! Right there. The Vanderhagen Boss Brush. With the lather maker for the razor today's a little bit of a tribute to a friend who hasn't been making any videos because he's having a great time on vacation in the philippines so nomio this one's for you buddy the uh cjb shavette it's got a feather professional in there this will be the third use on that blade so it'll be probably the last use yeah you can get more but i usually pitch any blade after about three all right, so, quick sip of the coffee. Brought to you today in the official Shave at World mug. Uh, all right, so let's get shaving. I'm fresh out of the shower, wet my face. You know what, just for, just for grins and giggles. Throw a little bit of the PAA cube on. Because why not? Alright. So I hadn't even gotten far enough in my line of thinking to figure out what I'm going to use for post. Probably the uh, Monster Gold and a new cream because as you saw last shave, the old cream was dead, dead, dead. Alright, a little bloom water, coupled with the PAA cube. I probably don't even need to lather. I could probably take a brush to this and have a good enough... Uh... Build a good enough lather to have a shave with, honestly. But, we gotta use this stuff up. Beautiful soap, I really enjoy it. Um, but, it's old and sitting in the cabinet. It is used stuff up January, so let's get it done. Somebody asked, and I couldn't, or maybe I'm imagining things. Maybe I, but I couldn't find the comment, so I don't know if it was a comment on YouTube or somewhere else, or maybe I dreamt it. But I feel like somebody asked me how I melted the soap into the bowl. So, uh, don't know how many of you folks out there are cooking types or watch cooking shows. But I used a, uh, a double boiler method. So what I did was I took the puck of soap and I put it in the little ceramic bowl. And then I took a small pan and filled it up, put the bowl inside the pot and filled it up to about halfway so that the water line was about right there. And then I set the water to boil. And I kept an eye on it. So as the water boiled, the soap, because it's the Colonel Conk soaps are glycerin based. So as the soap melted, it filled in the gaps in the bowl. And when it kind of leveled out and filled in all the spaces, I pulled it out. Pulled it out of the hot water. And you know, you don't, you don't have to melt the whole puck, just enough to kind of fill the gaps. Because like I said, the reason I do it is because I hate trying to lather on a puck and have it sliding around in the bowl, chasing it in the bowl with the brush, trying to keep, you know, enough contact with the soap and the brush to get a good lather. It just annoys me. It's one of my mini quirks. But anyway, so that's what I did. Soap starts to melt, fills in all the gaps, 
gets pretty level. And then I just take it out and I let it sit for 24 hours. Some people say you can put it in the fridge or freezer. I just let it sit. Don't use the soap for 24 hours. And then after that, bang, you got a great soap that is not going to run away from you when you try to lather. Speaking of leather, this is ridiculous. Still not quite as peaky as it could be, but it's good enough for me. So, get this painted on. So, it's Sunday, the last day of the weekend for most people. Um, tomorrow is uh, here in the States, is a holiday, federal holiday. Martin Luther King Day. We celebrate the man who did so much for civil rights. And uh, it's a good thing. I think all of our county offices are closed. But <clears throat> since we are EMS, considered essential personnel, we never close. But I am off anyway because it's my normal day off. So, get to take advantage of that. All right, first pass. See if we can do this without slicing my face off so I can go to church without getting blood all over my fancy church clothes. Slow down, Kiefer. It's early, or relatively early Sunday morning. It's about seven o'clock. Been up since five. Eh, actually, probably closer to six. I sneezed it a little bit today. I wanted to say thank you for everybody who commented on my last video when I was talking about shaving less often. You guys were very kind. Made some nice comments. Gave, paid me some compliments that <laughs> uh, were really nice. So thank you guys for that. Um, I wasn't fishing for compliments, but hey, I'll take them. Especially... You know, in today's society, where most people will gripe and complain rather than compliment. What's the statistic? I don't remember. It's like 80% of people will write a negative review online just because. But nobody ever... Very few people write positive reviews. So, thank you guys for the kind words. I do appreciate it. I mean, this is all supposed to be fun. I mean, it's just it's just shaving, right? I just knocked over the lid. But, uh, hey, look, you can see in the background the sun is coming up, so that's nice. It's going to be sunny and cold today. I think we're going to have a high in the 40s. Tomorrow, uh, going to be kind of the same. And then starting Tuesday, rain and sleet, maybe ice, 
and snow. I doubt the snow will happen. But like I said last year, if it happens, it's going to be a very rare occurrence three times. And such. In a, not in a calendar year, but in a physical year, you know, because it's been two months. It snowed twice in December in Texas, which is unusual in and of itself. But then for it to go ahead and snow again in January would be ridiculous. So I got a new piece of shave gear that I was really tempted to shave with today. Don't know how many of you uh, guys are familiar with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, PAA. I'm sure most folks are, whether you've actually used their stuff or not. I'm sure you've run across their stuff in the forums or on the interwebs or whatever. But I want, I've been wanting to add... A gem razor to my collection for quite a while. I just never gotten around to it, buying freezes and whatnot. And every time I bid on one that looks like it's in good shape on eBay, I always lose. So. I guess it was last month, maybe, or earlier this month, PAA announced that they were <clears throat> releasing a gem style razor called the Starling. And it's a three piece razor, it's got two base plates so you can adjust the uh, aggressiveness of the shave. And With great uh, fervor and impulsiveness, I ordered one. And it came in the other day, and <laughs> because I'm not always the brightest bulb in the box, I didn't have any blades for it. I didn't think to order any from Phoenix, from PAA, when I ordered it. So when I knew it was going to be delivered, I was in a mad dash to find some locally. Luckily, I found a couple uh, packages at some of the pharmacies around town. One was a store brand, the other one was the gym. Um, I don't know if they're the Blue Stars, I don't remember. Turns out they're the same blade, made by the same company. And uh, thanks to all the five folks in Shave At World who pointed that out to me when I questioned it because they looked awful similar, the uh, packaging and everything. So I've got 10 blades ready to shave, right? And I was going to do it today. But I figured since it was a new release razor, everybody, I'd seen a ton of pictures, everybody, everybody and their mom had picked one up, which is fine. So I figured there'd be a ton of people shaving with them online this week. So I figured I'd wait until the fervor died down and I could just kind of sneak in and do my own little shave review. Maybe not even a review, because you know, I'm not much of a reviewer. But I could have a shave with it. Check my notes against theirs after it's all said and done. Tell you what, the uh, the menthol in the cube, 
adds a whole other dimension to this amber soap. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, I have to use that combo more often. All right, sorry about all the water today. I don't know if is it any more than normal. All right, so second pass. What am I on? Second pass. So yeah. The uh, Starling Shave will be coming. Can't say for sure when, but uh, it'll probably be on a Sunday so that I can have few days of growth since it will be my first shave with a gem style razor. sketchy right there you can see that kind of skipped on the, uh, the equator line there could have cut myself good but I didn't so yay me right all right Got a chance yesterday to catch up on some shaving videos, which was good. I'm still pretty far behind, but uh, watched a pretty good selection from Trevi B. Uh, a couple videos from. Uh, Gary Zaws or Cincy Saves. Cincy Shaves. So it's getting a little dry. Um, a couple from Johnny jo Johnny Johansson. Yeah, if I said that all terribly. I probably butcher your name every time, Johnny. Sorry, man. Couple from 406 Shaver. Couple from Kenny Riberall. So now I'm really only behind on now. Uh, I did watch Frank, a couple of, one of Frank's. He doesn't post videos super often, maybe once or, once a week or so, so don't get too far behind on his. Jim Co. Shaving Experience. Um, so really, yeah, I'm kind of caught up on all the guys I normally watch. Except for Spencer, Spencer Frankel, and uh, um, 
Just Lance. Might have one or two I need to watch. And uh, Manny, SoCal Shaves. There are just so many good guys out there making videos, it's hard to keep up. You know, I don't even, and it's not a knock on him, but I hardly even watch Paul H's videos anymore, and he was one of the first guys I started watching. Um, but you know, I watch his hot and spicy. So Paul H, if you, if you watch this or you see this, which I doubt you will, sorry brother, I haven't been watching your shaves, but you're, uh, your hot and spicy stuff on your other channel is fun to watch. And that one's pretty easy to keep up with. So He made some ribs yesterday. Pff, looked delicious. All right. Last pass against the grain. Inverted pass. Ooh, 21 minutes. Let me speed it up. video takes so long. I don't feel like I talk that much. See, I'm out of practice, man. I've been shaving with those DEs every day. Only shaving once a week with a Chevette. Feels awkward doing this pass now. Where I had been, getting pretty. comfortable to where I was kind of feeling proficient with it. Take that any day. All right, all right, that's it, that's all. Let's get rinsed off. Nice 
nice cold water rinse. Uh, that's a fine, fine shave. Cheeks are great. Jawline's not too bad at all. A little scruff on the neck, but hey. Jesus don't care. All right, and hey, look, my new Allen block. Woohoo! And talking to me a little bit there on the uh, on the neck. But overall, she feels nice. No, uh, no screen, no nicks, no cuts. That's a good shave. I'm going to cut it off right here, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday and a great upcoming week. Uh, I'm going to go do my head shave. It's going to be 10 lathers on the, uh, the Williams. I'm not going to film that. i got to get cracking. So, have a good day, good week. Enjoy your Sunday. God bless. Have a great day.